Hey, Catalina, it's Carl. Come on, let's go. We got banks to rob, baby. Come on, let's go. In here, mi amor. All right, come on, let's go. You get your sorry ass in here right now, Carl Johnson, or I shove a fucking hand grenade up it. All right, I'm coming. Look, baby, I really need that paper. Oh my God, what in hell's name is that? This, you fucking freak. This is a rock. I'm gonna no, torture baby, your sorry no, ass. No, please no. You never write to me. You don't call. You treat me like a fucking whore. Like one of your whores. No, baby, please, I ain't into that shit. I'm gonna fuck you up. Oh, baby, please no. Please, baby, no. Ow. Hey. Ooh, ow, ow, hey, oh, shit. Yes, faster, harder, deeper, oh, yes, yes, yes. Maybe we can go out and rob now? This place will be a walk in the park. You mean like the last place? Who are these cowboy assholes? Hang back a while, see what's what. Let's get out of here! Those have our money! That's my money! Please, to the motherfucker! Carl, you drive! I'll shoot! You have much to learn about the female heart. Come and see me again when you think you understand it. Goodbye. Miss Catalina, miss. Don't even think about doing anything, motherfucker. Hand over every last dollar. No, bitch. I'm going to empty the safe. Keep these idiots covered. All right. You heard the lady. No heroic shit. Attention all units. Some psychos are robbing the bank in Palomino Creek. Shit. I just bought another donut. Don't criminals have any consideration? We can collect that bribe later. Might as well go and take a look. Thanks. One day, Carl Johnson, you will realize she, she truly loved me and your heart will break in two. But you are more like the spiny lizard than a man. Goodbye. Man, where is this guy? Hey, I've been waiting forever, man. Where the hell you been? Sorry, Holmes. I had no idea when the race would be. Right. You just happened to show up five minutes after everybody else. Huh? When the gasoline runs through your vein like a burning passion, you know when it's time to race. I think you're getting high on that country air, man. Hey, CJ, look. You haven't been to one of our meets before. Where are you from, friend? I'm from Grove Street Family, Los Santo. What's happening? Relax. This isn't a parade, pal. But you know, you gotta be careful. Wootsie Moo. But my friends call me Wootsie. How are you doing? You dick CJ. Carl Johnson. Listen, out here we like to race for cash or pink slips. Race of choice. Get your car started. We're about to go. Good luck, Carl Johnson. There's something real strange about that dude. Be careful, CJ. Show. Yeah. 
drive with style, Carl Johnson. And I never mind losing to a guy who's willing to push himself right to the edge. As for me, I'm a man who honors his best. Well, you learn pretty fast with the police on your ass. Listen, it's best if we clear the hell out of here as soon as possible, because for some reason the local police don't appreciate our noble sport. Yeah, thanks for the advice. Okay, I gotta go. Uh, you know what? If you ever find yourself in San Fierro, give me a call. Maybe we can do a little business together. Yeah, I might just do that. I guess that's our wake-up call. Nice meeting you. Remember? Just business. What kind of a man are you? When I say just business, I mean that I love what you! What the fuck? When I say I know interest to no more, I mean that I love you! What are you? And hey, when I my... say that wait, I miss Catalina, you! Wait, Leave my car alone! I did this for us! For me and you! It's too late! I don't love you no more! I love another, okay? What? Then what the fuck was this about? I cannot keep my passions hold up. They need a release. That was a good release. Like hitting a man with a frying pan while he sleeps. This Carl? This is my new man. Are you jealous? Are you going to fight for me? Huh? No, no, I, I can take you, Jenny. You're jealous and a coward. Now let's race! You had the unfair advantage. Being a better driver ain't no unfair advantage. You think you're clever, but it is you who is missing the point. Not only was he racing, but he was satisfied. Fool. What are you gonna say about that? Hmm. The advantage of a stick ship, I guess. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, man, what is it? Cash or pink slip? There you go. Goodbye, Mr. Johnson. I will not be missing you. Hey, wait a minute, bitch. What is this shit? The deed to a garage in San Fierro. My lover needs his car so we can go to Liberty City. Liberty City? Yeah, whatever. Have a good time. I will. Goodbye. Okay. Go. I ain't gonna miss it. Goodbye. Circle closes. All is as it should be. Back to the egg. Ooh. Damn, man, there must be two tons of that stuff back there. Three-rama. What the fuck's that noise? Hey, that sound like a chop. Oh, man. Narcs, you fucking rat. Dude, don't put that on me. You don't want to deal with Tim, Penny. What's all this? Calm, brother. Panic paves the way to bad karma. Man. We gotta torch those fields. I only hope Kaya can forgive us. We'll never shake them now. Hold on. I got a little something back here I was saving for a rainy day. Holy motherfucker. Where'd you get that? Found it in a bale of tie sticks. Shame, really. Look at this place. Whoa, Jesus, dude. Looks like you've been fed a bummer.
motherfucker. That mute asshole. That fucking snake without a tongue. Gave me this shit hole instead of a pink slip. I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world. Holmes, take it easy. At least we're alive. Girl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. I'm really feeling my fucking vibe here. Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man, but I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of them. I mean, look, we in a strange place. We got shit to our name. You and for it. once, I try to make something work this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh. That's a great idea, sis. Won't you shut up? You know what, Carl? You are a fucking idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you've got something and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here is fantastic. Oh. All right, but how am I find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines. Till the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit. But the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard, he was working at a garage over in East Bay. Hey, Jethro! Hop in, man. I've landed you a real job. Hey there, Truth Dude! Oh, man. Do, do I owe you? Because I swear I paid for that weed, dude. No, man, we're good. I think. Jethro, Carl. Carl, Jethro. What's up, man? Can we swing by the hospital? It's over in Santa Flora district, west of here. Yeah, you sick? No, the government is. But that's a long story. So, you know. Nothing? Oh, don't look, cover your faces. Think about a yellow rubber duck. You tripping again. Shh. Okay, I've seen enough. Let's go see if we can find Wayne. He's working a hot dog van at the tram terminal. Wayne, man, how's the hot dog business? It's totally shit. Why? What's happening? Oh, uh, my friend Carl here is opening a chop shop. Jethro's in. How about you? Uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh, I've got, like, some shit to take care of first, though. So, uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at, and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Dory. I'll see y'all later. Okay, next stop, cop station downtown. What? Watch your mom. Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Wow. Okay, but you're starting to freak me out with all that spaceship, man. Okay, you know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. Picture a pink golf ball in your mind. Okay. We're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? There's an electronics guy I've had dealings with. Goes by the name of Zero. He could fix a supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shop, but he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Let's go introduce you to him. Leave me alone, Berkeley. This is stalking. Oh, hey, truth. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive. Home, James. The hard work, and we'll transform this place. Hey, Caesar, come over here. What's up, B? Caesar, this Jethro, Dwayne, and Zero. Hey, man. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no account. No, idiot property. Decorating ain't exactly my thing either. No, property development. Look, you buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn a property into a business. 
the snowball gets bigger. I don't know, sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is gonna get on its feet, and when it does, we are gonna have money. If you wanna make something of yourself, you gotta let your money work for you. Look, I wouldn't even know what to store. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, okay? Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. <laughs> Man, you chose her. I'm stuck with her. <laughs> It's fucked up. I can honestly say I wish you was here. Great. Now you got the present for that friend of mine, right? You know, the one trying to get me and old Officer Pulaski into trouble? Yeah. Why don't you put that up in his car and give we tip a call? Hey, motherfucker, the code of the streets is that I don't snitch. I don't give a fuck if it kills you, me, my brother. Street cats don't call no cops. Carl, he's a DA. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, where I go find him? He's at the Van Cobb Hotel in the financial. Oh, for sure. Tip, I seen something highly suspicious you should come check out. Do you know who you're fucking with here? I'll have your badge, you moron. Shut up! You find anything back there? Found anything? He's got half of Mexico in here. Must be two tons of Mary here. What? But, but I've never seen. How could it be? Hell of a defense you got there, buddy. Hey, homie. What up, Carl? What the fuck is going on? Do I look like a hooker to you? What? So who said this to you? Like I'ma fuck him up. Nah, hold up. I got this. I need to go teach him a little respect. Huh? That's right. Yeah. I've been thinking about getting me some new land anyway. Try to get a good person. Shouldn't you wear a bail around your neck? Wanna get slept, fool? You dick. Hey, what up, Z? Nothing is up, Carl, apart from my blood pressure and the imminent collapse of my hopes and dreams. Why? As usual, the forces of darkness have triumphed over good. Life is nothing but misery, briefly interspersed with agony. Homie, what you own? Whatever it is, you need to reduce the dose. <laughs> Excuse me, but I never take drugs. We all know drugs are for losers and or sex maniacs. And right now, sex is the last thing on my mind. Thank God for that. Berkeley is back. Oh, Berkeley. Yes. Who the fuck is Berkeley? Oh, just a man I want to beat in fair competition. A man literally obsessed with revenge. Oh, you put hands on him? No, please. <laughs> I never initiate violence. Oh, I know. You knocked his bitch. Uh, no. I won the prize in the science fair. <laughs> First prize, that is. And now you want to pop you? <laughs> <laughs> and they say game bangers is petty as small mind. Hey, 
What's that bleeping sound? That's him. We shall fight to the end. Berkeley's launched a full-scale attack. This is insanity. All batteries commence fire. He's going for my transmitters. If he takes them out, I'll never be able to launch a counterattack. No problem, man, but they're only toys. They're not toys. They're just smaller. <laughs> as long as we have opposable thumbs, we will fight you. Well done, Carl. Now leave. I must prepare for the battles ahead. Never have so few owed so many. Too little three... No, that's not it. What is it? We will fight him on the beaches. Well, rooftops. Hey, Z, where you at? Go away, Carl. I'm, I'm very, very busy back here. Top, top secret stuff, not for your eyes. Too sensitive. Come on, homie, where are you? I said go away, Carl. I don't need any friends today. Thank you. <laughs> Man, Nip's a pretty strong draw. Yes, my hero. Carl, he came back and humiliated me. I shall probably turn to prostitution now, where I will be found dead and broken. I am a 28-year-old man whose landlord just helped him down from a hook from which I had been hanging from my underwear, contemplating my inadequacy for nearly two hours. Ow! My crack. Look, you gotta get even, homie. What kind of weapons you got? Uh, I've got a prototype of a miniature plane. Oh, well, with that plane, we gonna go humiliate Burke. Mm. Okay, cool. Man, this is ridiculous. That went right up my crack. Berkeley has his sycophantic lackeys do all his deliveries. Well, we shall hit him where it hurts the most. Bring his mail order model business to its knees. I'm off to engage with destiny, good or bad. What the hell are you talking about now? The hour of judgment is upon me, and I must ask myself if I am a sheep or a goat. Carl, will you be my second? Here are some letters. I've left everything to you in case I don't make it. Please. Already own it! What's wrong with you, man? We are crossing the Rubicon. I am to engage in battle with Berkeley. At stake, honor, and our very lives. It's funny. I've never noticed before how beautiful this time of year can be. I may never again see Rome in the springtime. A butterfly. Come on with all the talking, man. Is you gonna battle Berkeley or what? It's a fight to the death. Come hither. Behold, no man's land. Man, y'all take this shit seriously. Berkeley's headquarters is across no man's land. I'll drive the bandit, you fly the goblin, and help any way you can. If I get the bandit into Berkeley's base, he must leave San Fierro for good. Let battle commence! As honored as I am to share my home with you, we should lure these lizards out into the baking sun. We were followed here. The Danang boys are watching this apartment. As soon as we leave, they will attempt an assassination. Hey, what's the big deal? Won't you cruise on out of here, lead them to a place quiet, and cap they flat ass? No offense. None taken. <laughs> we find you funny. Look, as long as they think Mr. Farley here is in the back, they'll follow me wherever. After a while, you can come out safe. Simple. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Your success will be rewarded, Mr. Johnson. Hey. Mr. Johnson, it's Guffy, are you okay? Yeah, it's nothing. They took the bait like morons. Mr. Ramfai Lee, get out all right? Yes, Woozy is taking him to safety. Thank you. Cool. I'll see you later, man. You decoy! Back to Chinatown! Hold on. 
You trying to tell me you can't swim? Seriously, when I'm in the deep water, it, it panics me. Plus, I'm terrified of eels and squid and seaweed and... Okay, dude, see, I know you're just trying to make excuses now. Look, CJ, I need someone from outside the triad who I can trust. All right, so let me get this straight. You want me to swim around in dirty dock water, dodging little brown jelly beans and Vietnamese gangsters to put a bug on a boat in the harbor? You're so negative. Listen, when I was a kid, swimming off the Santa Maria, I once got a condom stuck to my face. <laughs> Hard like that stays with you for life. Believe that. <laughs> I have a confession to make. I, um... I'm blind. No shit! Yeah. Although I've trained my other senses to a point where you wouldn't notice my handicap, in the water, they'd be quite useless. All right, Woozy, relax. Don't beat yourself up about it. Look, I'll do it. Uh, one last thing. You do know that I'm black, right? And not Chinese. I'm blind, Carl, not stupid. Caught me on my way out. Business? This is the big one. This is the one that is going to seal my place in the red gecko ton. But something's come up, and I gotta sort things out myself. Excuse me. Little lion, what's the news? Damn. Why today of all days? Okay, shit. Uh, take Guppy and go check it out. Trouble? The Danang boys are arriving today on a container ship. Little Lion's gone to check it out. I really gotta go too. Hey man, look, don't even trip. I'm a handless for you, all right? Thanks, my friend. Your help and friendship has been invaluable to me. Thanks, man. What the other guy? Oh, they're getting a helicopter to do a couple of flybys of the ship. Look, if everything goes well, I'll call you in a week or so and invite you to my new spot. Hey, CJ, what are you doing here? Just bumped into Woozy on his way out. He filled me in. I thought I'd go with him. Well, we ain't rolling. We're whirling. Strap in and strap up. Getting out of that alive. Thank you for everything. Around the back. What's up with Jizzy? Dead. So what's the plan? T-Bone security got here real early. They got men on the roofs watching over the pier. That was Woozy's boys. They're in place. Look down by the side entrance. Shit, they heading up to the roof. Shit! Me and I, we're gonna have to take out T-Bone's men on the rooftop before this whole gig blows wide open. Here comes T-Bone! And here's that snake body. Look at that fool, hanging out with the ballers like they was lifelong pals. Something ain't right. Where's Torino? Chopper inbound! That's gotta be Torino. Shit, he'll see the bodies on the rooftops. Too late, man. He's tripping out, Holmes. Smoke grenades? So much for a surprise. Come on, we gotta take these fools right now. This, I see you, Rifa, motherfucker. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, Ryder, sherm head asshole. Where you think you going? Can't stop me. He's in it for those boats. Don't worry about it. I got this. 